Hello everyone, this is Stormy Cloud 21. Today we're going to look at the Ghost Secret Mission, Micro Galaxy Squadron. Well, kinda, because it's missing some figures. But other than that, it looks like a great set. So here's the side of the box. Remember, this is not a full review since it doesn't have all the contents included in this set, unfortunately. Um, there, are, there is missing figures. There's collectible cards that you can cut out or just leave them. And the features of the ghost, you can do quite a bit of stuff. It's the same ghost, just a repaint. Um, some of the Y-Wings are changed just a little bit. But uh, we're going to open this up and look at what we got. If you had the first ghost, you're familiar with these figures. There should be five other different figures included. That should be down on the bottom. But unfortunately, it's a repeat situation. Um, but anyway, here's the damage on the ghost. Looks just like the other ghost. Hopefully no problems here. I'll put batteries in. Here's the Y-Wings, but you can already see it looks like this is all wonky and crooked. We'll see when we take these straps off. And this is definitely wonky back here. There's the other one. And then there's the uh, Phantom right there so uh, let's look at these here we go before we do they included some instructions inside the packaging as well let's get a close-up look at that wonky y-wing piece didn't get uh, snapped on there or glued on there correctly but uh qc it's a y-wing and it's a different sort of Y-Wing. See the blue stripes right there. Here's, here's a look at the bottom. You can see the missiles. This is going to be a little worse. Oh, crud. There you go. I just snapped that on there off camera. Just like new. Looks like it's going to work out. There's the phantom snap. <laughs> I'm going to take this off of here. One of the things where it's really hard to do on camera, so I just popped it off, snapped it, came off nice and easy, really cool. Here's the inside view, I actually accidentally knocked that piece out, I'll have to glue that back in. And then uh, this turret turns, trust me. There we go. And uh, this opens. And uh, this is pretty cool for the first time. Here's the stand underneath the ghost. We didn't get that last time. See the landing gear cup comes out. There is a lot to the ship. There really is. Hard to film with one hand. So underneath you can see where the stand fits in off to the side the left and the right there and there's the landing gear that comes out landing gear right there three of them here's like the ramp on the front that opens up again one-handed filming here so I do to uh, pull this up a lot more extensively than I'm doing that's the underside Set that down inside here. Things are painted now. And there's all the like crew quarters and stuff. Got the stickers going on. And then let's open up the uh, cockpit. Okay, carefully. Look at the blast mark. That's so cool. I open this up, and now you have like painted chairs. And uh, you have the place where 
trapper would go. So cool. How cool is that? It's not a bad set if I just wasn't missing the five figures. You know, I'm living a halfway life here. This opens up. It's not opening for this for this review. It will not open. Sorry about that. I know someone's gonna get on to me, but you can flip this around and connect different ships that have a droid port and then put this back in here so you can have the ships, little ships hanging off the big ship. You wanna do the hyperdrive? Or you got this? Put the Phantom on, you get different sounds. Pretty cool. There's the Phantom, but I know you've seen this already in its own video. There's the Y-Wing. I'm actually shocked it's as good as it is. Turret turns as well. Missiles come out. There's the other one. I'm impressed. Just missing five figures. So anyway, this is Stormy Cloud 21. Not a bad set. If they could just get their QC right and send the right figures, everything would be great. But until next time, thanks for watching and talk soon.